Um, I want to ask you about the, the role that Steve Bannon is playing today. We're going to have a conversation in a few minutes so with one of our tax reporters about the tax plan that's being hashed out between the White House and, and the Congress. Uh, Steve Bannon has floated this idea of a 44% tax on those making $5 million or more a year. So you can see the populist roots of a, of a proposal like that one. Uh, is he being heard out now? Is he being is he able to make inroads on policy points like that within this White House? Well, first of all, we should make clear. I mean, this this is utterly unprecedented for a White House strategist to propose a tax increase on high earners. This is a this is an apostasy. Uh, Republicans haven't done this ever since George H. W. Bush raised taxes, and it was thought to cost him the presidency. So, um, it's not being well received on Capitol Hill. So far as I can tell, it's not being very well received within the White House. But I do think that it makes a certain kind of political sense, and certainly this is Bannon's goal here. Uh, the knock on the Republican health care plan is that it's taking uh, millions and millions and millions of dollars uh, away from health care spending to finance a tax cut on high end earners. That is deeply unpopular politically. We saw, I think, the latest version of the bill had a 12% approval rating. I think that Bannon understands that if you were to make even a, a, a tiny increase, on high earners, you would take away that talking point. It would seem so radical. Trump could claim that he was focusing on the middle class, and maybe then this log jam in the Senate uh, would begin to break a little bit. I don't think it's going to be happen, but it's a very interesting ploy.